Hi guys, it's Harry here from UK Football Trials. The reason for contacting you today live from our boardroom is because we've had a player, unfortunately, who has just parted with 400 pounds of their money to an agent that doesn't exist. This is a problem that's coming to us more and more often at the moment, and it's really a massive shame. So what we've done to help you is interviewed our agent, Tony Awal. Now he's fully licensed, he's a full-time football agent, and he's gonna give you all the advice that you need to talk about some of the rules and the regulations about this. Uh, but from, from UK Football Trials perspective, our rule of thumb that we, we, that we tell you guys, if you're coming from an African nation without an EU passport, it's gonna be very, very difficult to get scouted. And we certainly say as a rule, if anybody is asking for money up front, uh, this letter here is for 400 pounds in return for flights, accommodation, uh, all your board feeding throughout the state. It's full of spelling mistakes. The agency doesn't exist, the address doesn't exist, and the phone number is out of order. But this person has just paid 400 pounds uh, to this company, and we've heard of another player that's paid 10,000 pounds. So guys, listen to Tony, what he has to say, and um, you know we hope that this advice really helps you, but please, please be very, very careful. It's, it's highly unlikely. Um, Without an EU passport to play football in England, um, one, you have to be on your national team, all right? Uh, yeah. And so I think FIFA rules, it might, have, it might have changed slightly over the last few years, but it was, your country one has to be ranked in the top 75 in the world, FIFA rankings, right. uh, and you have to have represented your national team, the first team, in um, a certain percentage of their fixtures in the last couple of years. Right. Um, so if you don't find yourself in that bracket, it's very difficult to be able to get a work permit to come and play in England, let alone uh, a trial. Do you know what I mean? So a trial would be a waste of time, really, to come over to England. Um, the other way around it is you'd have to come over on an exceptional talent sort of visa. Um, yep. And that is, in a nutshell, you've got to be the next Lionel Messi to be able to get a work permit yep. uh, to come and play in England without an EU passport. It's highly unlikely that um, a, a lad from uh, an African country... Um, would be going for trials with an English club if you're one not the best player in that country, yep. two the best player in that age group in that country, etc. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And uh, f f from an agent's perspective, would an agent Tony ever ask a player to pay hundreds or thousands of pounds up front, promising a football trial with a professional or some professional club in the UK? No, that's not that's not the role of an agent. The role of an agent is not to. Um, get money or funds for, from a player the role of an agent is to identify talent uh, that they believe is genuinely good enough to play at a certain level uh, and help them facilitate that move um, to, 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 a, I mean, to a club in Europe or, or in England so no, I'm, under no circumstances should an agent be charging a player money to, um, yeah, to yeah. go on a trial so, so no, no player should ever you know get uh, pay somebody hundreds or thousands of pounds up front um, even if there is a, a, an expected letter, I mean, would a, would a club ever write a letter to Tony to say, "Yeah, we want to um, see this player in for a trial," um, without knowing anything about that player, or if they were from a random town, didn't play at a high level, would that ever happen? No, that wouldn't. I mean, the scouting networks for most clubs, I think, even championships or league um, or, or lower league clubs, are that sort of um, extensive now that the team would come to you. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. If, if if they believe that you're good enough to play for them, so no, yep. a club wouldn't <laughs> one um, charge players to to come on uh, for a trial uh, yep. and to send letters without having one seen the player or come highly recommended from a scout or an agent that the club uh, has a previous relationship with already. Okay, cool. So if a players, uh, the players that we get from African from the African continent that want to come and play in the UK, what's the best advice that we could give to them then? The best advice, um, do your due diligence. If an agent does approach you, do your due diligence. Um, everybody's details are usually online. Um, if you if you Google search somebody's name, there's usually some sort of history or uh, a profile on them online. So the one, yeah, do your due diligence about who you're actually speaking with. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, and ask the questions, really. Yeah. Um, what, what what are your plans for me? What would you intend to do with uh, do to help me? Yeah, sure, but they they should never get rid of funds um, up front ever. No, I I wouldn't recommend to do that for anybody to do that. Yeah. Is Go there... part with funds because the agent asks you to yeah. uh, to pass without having evidence of whatever trial 
that they claim to, to have given you. But again, it goes back to no agent, any legal agent anyway, um, would ask for money off a player. Okay, and so for for these lads then, is the, their best hope of making it perhaps in the UK to work hard at their game to make it at the national team level before even thinking about considering coming to the UK? Yeah, I mean, like, football is it's all about stages. Everybody wants to bypass a certain stage. Um, the lads, my advice would be to the lads, you want to have to be the best player in your region. All right. Well, well, firstly, you have to be the best player in the team. Whatever team you're playing for, whether it's in a Premier League side in your country or whatever, you have to be the best player in your side. Um, after that, you've got to be the best player in the region, then the best player in the country, uh, and so forth. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 You so, have to have. Uh, you have to be playing for a club. You can't just expect to go from uh, playing park football in whatever country to having a trial for Liverpool. It's yeah. just not realistic. It's not going to happen. You know what I mean, you have to be playing consistently for whatever club or region that you're in um, before you can go on to the next level uh, and, and whatnot. So, if a, that's great, and if a person says they're an agent, is there a website or a, a, a directory online that they can go to to check out someone's um, credentials? Yes, I mean, but FIFA, FIFA statutes have sort of changed over the last few years, but typically, if someone is a licensed agent, they're on the FIFA website on the agents list. Um, so, uh, say, same as the um, in England as well, with RFA uh, have a, a register or a data, or database of um, licensed agents, agents that are sort of registered to work uh, in the industry. Okay guys, so you've just listened to my talk with our agent Tony Awar and hope that's been useful for you. The thing we want to say is if you want to come to a UK football trials event, then you're welcome to come along, but you would need to sort out your own um, transport, your own visas. We can't do letters of invitation, things like that. So if you were going to come to one of our events, you're welcome to do so, but it's highly unlikely you're going to get scouted. So it would be more for the experience rather than a chance to get scouted by a pro club for the reasons that Tony's talked about. And to round things off for you, there are you know, four main points that we want you to take away. So the first one, is that you should never pay any upfront fees. So you know that's a very, very dangerous game to be playing, uh, to be paying people that you may have never met that are claiming to be able to help you in outrageous ways, uh, just like this letter, don't pay anything upfront. So keep your money to yourself, don't pay anybody uh, upfront for any of these sorts of uh, claims. All right, the second one is that to be playing in the UK, really you need to have an EU passport to make things simple for the football clubs to get you registered. The third one is that you need to be paying for your national team. So you'll need to be playing at the highest level you can. That's got to be your first target, guys. Get into a top club or at the highest level in a national team. And the fourth one is if you're unsure ever, or you've received an inbox message, or you've had an email from an agent, get their name, get uh, their exact address, get their phone number, get as much information on them as you can, and send it through to us and we'll have a look for you. All right, so hope that helps, guys. Best of luck in all your football, and, uh, and obviously we'll be in contact soon if we can help any of you. Many thanks. Bye-bye.